I'm on the Herco stand at Emo 2023. And as most of you all know, I ran these for years. So I love talking about them. So first off, what machine are we stood in front of and what's going on? Well, actually, we see a Vmax 30i, like you already mentioned, with a Procobots automation system. So, obviously, you've got the Procobots. Let's not get that name wrong. Is this a Herco special robot? Because am I right in saying that even if you buy a Herco machine without the robot, the robot automation system is already in the machine and you can retrofit afterwards? You can retrofit afterwards. But you can also buy like the whole package, of course. So obviously you've got, well, I like to call it, you've got two robots on this. I might be wrong, but obviously you have the robot loader. Am I right in saying, are we calling the automatic door a robot as well? Well, it's included in the Procobots, the brand name Procobots, and the door opener is included in the automation system. Now, while we're here, I think the, first, the main reason what we need to talk about is obviously the programming side of a Herco yes. because it's it's unlike anything I used before it or seen after it. So can you talk me a bit through the programming and how is it so easy? Well, programming on a Herco is very smart and efficient. So we're trying to be the helping hand for the customers in the cutting business. Now, obviously you have options on your control. Nobody else has. So can you just give us a real brief description of the 3D mold and the swept surface um, programs you can run on these machines? The surface option gives you the opportunity to actually cut 3D forms without using a CAM system. So you can program it right at the control with the solid model import option. Now, just before we get to the solid model import, I never had that option, but I did have the DXF option. So for people that don't know, what is, it, what is the DXF option on the machine? The DXF option on the machine gives you the possibility to load digital drawings, DXF files into the machine and create your programs right from these drawings. And that also isn't just contours, it's holes, it's, it's everything. Yes. Now, Obviously, you've now took that one step, well, I won't say one step further, but I think I'd be wrong in saying that. You've took this a whole new level further with the solid model import. Yeah. So how does that work? With the solid model op option, you load a step file into the control. You simply select the surfaces you want to machine and tell the control what she's going to do with it. Then you select the tool and you're done. Now, am I right in saying as well that if you use the solid model import on a five axis machine and you have holes on say each side and the top, the machine will automatically optimize the tool path to, make, to give you the fastest way of machining it. With the solid model import option, the control uh, automates the process of programming by creating the transform plane, block, plane blocks for you for five axis machine. So even if you on a five axis programmer, let's say, using the solid model input, you don't need to be because the control will do it for you. Yes. Now, just before we move on, obviously I never had automation, so I'm, I'm quite interested to, to talk about this a little bit more. On the second screen, you have the job management, right. manager system. So what is that actually telling us? Well, with the automation job manager, you can create and queue a job you can tell in the queue job what program you want to load, how many parts you want to fit on the grid, and then you go. So uh, instead of having an external screen somewhere or losing your, your screen with your runtime, your speeds and feeds, you can actually have just a second screen with that so you can see it all the time. Oh, it's, it's blended over. You can um, uh, minimize that window if you want to. Now, I don't know about you, but I could be here all day talking about this, but I think we need to move on slightly. So we're going to move, we're going to move around now to the, and I'm going to get this right, the TM8MI. Right. Now, I've never actually seen a machine like this from Herco because we only had TM8s, which is your standard 
two axis lathe. You're right. So what's the difference between that and the TMA MI? Well, actually we have the brand new software version V11 running on that machine, which comes with, uh, with a few software options that they are totally new. So what are some of them options? Like the tool library, that's one option that is new. We have the linear broaching option, which is new. Now, to me, I don't even, we, we're not even gonna go into linear broaching, because to me, that's just wizardry, how that works. But something else is going off inside there as well, because you actually have a live tooling and a C-axis. Live tooling and a C-axis, and we are using newer drives. We use up-to-date drive technology on these machines. So this is going to be faster, more accurate. Right. And obviously with the Pro Cobots, I'm getting that right again, this machine will just run day in, day out, as much at 24 seven if you need it to. If you need it to, of course. Mostly the customers would like to extend machining time, machine run time and cut down time. And just before we finish, I've got maybe one last question. Obviously, We've spoke a lot about the programming capabilities on the milling machines. Yes. But what sort of capabilities do you have on the lathe programming? Well, they're quite similar to it. You have the DXF option on the lathe as well. You can have the linear broaching, like I mentioned, and you have like the same type of programming. We have a part set up, you have a tool set up, you have the part programming. So it's actually almost the same. So am I right in saying if you can run a lathe, you can run a miller, and if you can run a miller, you can run a lathe. Let's say with a little bit of starting time, yes. <laughs> now, Florian, I just want to say a, a huge thank you to you and all of you at Herco for giving us your time and letting us at MTD come and chat about your machines. And I don't know about you, but I love these machines. I've ran them for years, so it's so easy to talk about, and you've made this so easy, so thank you very much. You're welcome. It's been a pleasure.